Uh, we are back, guys, with week game two and week two of Phoenix Pro Hoops. And we are going to Ayer, the home world of the Protoss themselves. Spawning into the bottom right-hand corner. The red Protoss trying to be super, super cheeky. It is Phoenix from Amazon. And in the top left-hand corner, his opponent in blue, the Pro Hoops. Of Pro Hoops. I couldn't really think of anything there, you know, I was gonna say like the Pro Hoops of Pro Hoops, but Pro Hoops has dunked on Phoenix for game number one. Let's see if Phoenix can turn this around. And, uh, or if he's gonna do something extra cheeky again once again. He does go and go ahead and keep his gateways back home now. So, uh, he, you know, he, he just like, yeah, that's not gonna work. I tried. Got scouted. Yep, got a CV scout, you know, saves the day once again. But we do have Probius going ahead out across the map here from Phoenix. He's going to go here and see what he can find out. Maybe he does something cheeky once again. Maybe he proxies Oracles this time. I don't know. I haven't seen this game yet. So, anyway, they're going to kind of bypass each other and say, Hey, man, what's up? What's going on, bro? Probius gives him a R2-D2 sort of sound there. I was going to make one, but that just sounds kind of like not very good at sound effects. So, My wall off coming down once again for probes. Barracks gonna finish up. Probe gonna get up here. Steal some uh, mineral from the natural. But, yep, these are mine now. Gonna go at home. I don't know. Maybe not. He's gonna come up here. See that his SCV of his opponent is gonna go down the ramp there to expand. The Reaper is on the way. You know, everything looking pretty standard here. Looked like he wanted to try and confuse the worker line a little bit. There's a little bit of a micro trick he can do where you uh, take a probe for your worker, cross the map. And time it so when your Paulus worker comes back, you can uh, make him run off to another mineral line or another node, which then causes a worker that was going to that node to snowball and go the other way. You know, it, it just confuses the worker line a little bit. Plays a little bit of mining time. Reaper is going to pop out here. Now, Phoenix did get fully scouted by Pro Hoops, so Pro Hoops does know his opponent has expanded. And Phoenix is going through a pretty standard opening here that one gateway, Cybernex Core, Stalker. Catch that Reaper. It's kind of funny that the Adept used to be what was the go-to for catching a Reaper, and now we've just gone back to the Stalker. Like, yep. Don't need Adept. Adepts are old. Stalkers are new. Shiny. Anyway, this uh, probe is going to slip away once again. Reaper going to hang out outside the base here. Pro Hoops also expanding. When Protoss expands, you're generally safe to expand as a Terran. Double marine production on the way. Now we do have a factory here which could easily be swapped over for some widow mine drops. Possibly widow mines? Who knows? And we do have Reaper hanging out here. Check it for that third. So again, everything is going to be pretty standard, but hold the phone as I say that Twilight Council does finish up. Now, this is a. Uh, gonna be interesting now uh, does he go for dark shrine again yeah he's probably gonna go for dark shrine here because uh the stalkers are in place to catch his reaper and the reaper only has one way into the base but he won't be able to like scout this just yet there it is the dark shrine on the way guys so a little bit of insight into how phoenix plays he likes his dark shrine all right he likes his dark shrine and i imagine he's gonna get blink dts just just off the cuff guess there you know maybe i've played him <coughs> i'm sorry sorry to let your tech slip man but, uh, we do have a bunker coming down at the front, so Pro Hoops is kind of reading into this, saying, yeah, there might be some aggression at the front. And I do also like the Viking get ready to pop out of this starport. Now, Warp Gate is about to finish up. There is no Robo on the map yet. So he's gonna... Also getting charged. Okay, so this is a composition that was trying to pass. A scan gets thrown down, and I do believe he does click. Yep, okay, so Pro Hoops did click on that starport or that dark shrine in the back so he knows exactly what his opponent is up to does phoenix cancel it he's got a highlight like he wants to cancel it okay no he didn't he doesn't cancel it now how does pro hoops respond well no ebay on the way he's gonna go ahead and get a tank he's gonna add on a reactor onto that starport and engineering bay all right that's what we're looking for so he is well prepared for this 
but I don't think he's well prepared for the fact he's going to have to deal with charge and blink stop, blink DTs. I love you had, uh, I love the Amazon logo. Uh, I didn't notice that game one, but I love the Amazon logo. That's pretty funny. So now this is a composition that's actually rather like you know, gonna be very difficult to defend against because what's going to happen here is you're going to a expect a warp prism. Okay, so this Phoenix is going to have to be landed deal with anything on the ground, but what's going to happen is the charge rods are going to run up to the front of this bunker here. Distract the bunker, and then the DCs are going to blink by it. Now, Pro Hoops does indeed have a missile turret down, so he does have detection from the Dark or from the dark Templar, which means he would be able to clean that up. Now, this is also a case of people just sticking to their guns. Like, you saw Phoenix going into the Dark Shrine. You know, went behind Dark Shrine. Game number one there. Didn't pay off, because he got the Raven out, and that was it. Three more gateways added on across the map. Deciding not to keep all your gateways back home, I see, sir. We do have Tank out in the low ground, so now this the front shouldn't be broken here at all. I'm more worried about what could come up in the back here. I mean, there is a Viking on patrol here. Make sure no Warp Prism can slip in. There's a Tank in the main, there is detection in the main, so Pro Hoops? Definitely read into this quite well. He is well defended. He is getting his plus one attack up. So he is getting plus one weaponry. Blink or Shadow Stride is done. So Blink for the uh, Dark Shrine is done. ETs. There are already indeed five Dark Templar on the map. Now one thing I would like to see added on with this. A scan being thrown down here to see where his opponent is at. Nobody he catches the end of those DTs but, uh, walking across the map. See the stalkers are hanging out back home. Now, one thing I would like to see you add on here, Phoenix, is that warp prism, or is that observer, because there's no detection on the edge of the base here. So, say you just, like, blink up here with a DT. You know, you start to trickle in, you gotta obviously get on top of the tank somehow. He can't reach. He doesn't reach here. Sea strength actually doesn't cover the edge of that base, so you can blink those DTs up there and then wait, and then pressure the front, and then just walk in and probably pick off the tank. You so know, you're good to go from there. You know, just kind of multi-prong this attack and not try to just straight up bust the front. Like, that's what a lot of people seem to think is the best way to go. Is to try to just straight up bust the front. Now, I'm curious to see just how well this is going to work. As the only detection is currently one missile turret here in the natural. Those are being added on. The ones that the lone zealot. Supporting that purifier skin as well. I love how he has like two like warp blades instead, or side blades. I think they're warp blades on the zealot, side blades on the dark Thrun or a dark templar. Here we go. He's gonna come up here. He's gotta get these DTs past the wall. Take out that detection. He's gonna blink right on top of this line. Splash damage for the tank. Will do a little bit of damage. Wasting a scan. And I love how he baits out the scan there actually, because that uh didn't need that. You, you have detection already. You're good. You don't need to waste a scan here. Uh, the, go ahead and add on that lovely siege mode from those liberators, and there should be no way you get you break the front. Be none. I wonder how this thing, series goes for game three. Here we go. He is going to come right up in here. The DT is going to break right by, and they're going to start to hack and slash their way through this army just like that. Liberators caught on siege, not adding in the DPS. Tanks are going to be taken out. Everything's going to be taken out. Charge rocks added on, and then, well. That's going to be it, guys. I mean, there's nothing here to stop these DTs. One Marine is going to pop out and just get chewed up immediately. Hey! Finish the missile turret! These Liberators are getting a lot of free damage here. Marines kind of on attack for a rally point to move down here into this Liberator range. Going to get cleaned up as well. But no detection left. That's that's going to be it, guys. I mean, 21 SCVs. Doesn't matter how big your Terran Dreams are. You, you don't hold now. I mean... The liberators, if your Liberators were sieged up, Pro Hoops, if, you, if your Liberators were sieged up before this fight started, we would have been in a much better situation, but with Blink, this is what's going to happen, ready? Boop! See ya, you can Blink right by. Again, once when Protoss gets Blink, there's nothing that stops him from getting in. GG going to get called out here for game number two. That's going to tie the series up here between Phoenix and Pro Hoops. Uh, you could have very easily done this with Blink Stalkers to get for a lot easier, a lot cheaper cost. 